Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm taking a look at installing the final preview, or the latest preview, sorry, of uh, Android 6, also known now as Marshmallow, onto the Google Nexus 5 handset. So, as we can see here, I've already downloaded the Android SDK Manager. I also have already installed the um, Google USB driver for the phone and downloaded and extracted the image for the preview build of Android 6 onto the desktop, uh, into documents, sorry, and I've copied in just for convenience ADB and Fastboot into the folder. Um, so you, I had to install the Android SDK and then the platform tools. You can go setting up path variables on Windows and all the rest to get them into the right place um, or to allow them to be run from anywhere, but I've just copied them into the folder just to make it a bit easier for now. So the first thing that is required is we need to take our phone, unlock it, and we want to go... So if we go back from the start here, we need to go into settings and then we would unlock developer mode if it was locked by pressing on build number a number of times we'll see we're already a developer so we don't need to do that we then have developer options we want to turn developer options on approve that is okay i'm going to use stay awake so that the screen never turns off turn on USB debugging. My computer will now detect the device. I'm going to say always allow from this computer. And then we can put the phone down for the moment. Now we want to say ADB reboot bootloader. So this will restart our phone into the bootloader. Now at this point the thing to be aware of is that when you do this you are going to completely erase the handset. So um, this isn't like doing a over the air update. Any changes will be mean that you erase the handset and lose whatever's apps or anything installed. Obviously you can restore things through your Google account but you are going to be erasing the phone to begin with. Now what we're going to say is we're going to type fastboot oem unlock. This will unlock the bootloader. We will see now on the phone we get a warning message unlock bootloader and we have to press volume up and down uh, up button to select yes power button to unlock. We will now see it is erasing and the lock state is unlocked. So at this point we have erased the contents of the phone. With that done, now we return to our laptop and we just want to use the flash all script. So flash all dot bat. This will now restart the phone and then begin installing the image for Android M. Now we can see that initial installation process, which took a bit under 10 minutes probably, has now completed. Now we get a warning telling us this is a preview version of Android. Uh, so yes, not final, yada yada yada, and maybe errors. If we say okay to that, now we can just go through our normal initial setup. So I'm going to select United Kingdom English. I don't want to put in a SIM card. I'm not going to set up my uh, wireless network at the moment. Uh, we will go through and do all of this later. So 
So this brings us now to the home screen. We're not going to see a massive difference, I'm sure. But now if we go down to settings, about phone, we'll see we are on Android version 6. If we tap the build number, we now unlock developer mode. And if we tap the Android version, we get the Marshmallow logo. Doesn't seem there's anything pretty that it does in this version just yet. We'll have to see if there's anything that comes in later. But yes, so that is the phone now updated and ready to try out the Android Marshmallow 6.0 preview build. I hope you found this video useful. Um, be sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more from us in the future and check out the rest of the content on our channel. Thanks for watching.